This is our design center. It's one of our global offices around the world. We have offices in Barcelona, Slovakia, in Bratislava, in Dubai, and we have an innovation center in Brazil. And we're now opening up our R&D and innovation center in Toulouse. What gave you the inspiration to start this, this company? <laughs> As an entrepreneur in general, you like big problems, and transportation is definitely one of them. Travel sucks, right? Nobody really enjoys to travel. They enjoy to get to destination, but the process in itself can be done much better. I was very surprised when I found out that there's no train line, no metro line in the whole world that's profitable. They're all relying heavily on government subsidies. The New York subway loses roughly $2.2 billion every year, and it's one of the most used subways in the world. If you think about transportation in a different way, and you maybe change the business model, and you think about monetizing maybe more the time that we're spending in transportation, thinking about additional services. Do you want to get a massage? Do you want any other kind of service? If you see transportation as a marketing and you monetize the time the passenger spends inside the vehicle, there's a huge opportunity. Yeah. That's incredible because airplane tickets just keep going up. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, for me, the biggest problem is that the seats get, keep getting smaller. <laughs> yeah.